Good morning. This morning I'm going to do a Johnny Cash song. It was recorded by both Bob Dylan and Johnny. Uh, it's a tribute to the American Indian. I've always held the American Indian close to my heart. Uh, I guess because Hank Williams was part Cherokee and so was Johnny Cash and they were my favorite entertainers. I followed them closely and read a lot about the plight of the American Indian. You know, the American Indian has no spokesperson. Uh, they, they don't have anyone to speak for them. Still a lot living on reservations and uh, they don't get the same treatment or retribution that most people ask for. Or It's just that they, they just have no one and my heart goes out to them. This one is for Brandy, Sally, Stacy, and Sarah. Four American Indian girls that uh, I want to dedicate it to them. It's called The Ballad of Ira Hayes. All him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian, nor the Marine that went to war. Gather round me, people. There's a story I will tell. A brave young Indian, you should remember well. From the land of the Pima Indians, a proud and noble band who formed the Phoenix Valley in Arizona land. Through the ditches for a thousand years, water grew Irish people's crops till the white man stole the water rights and the sparkling water stopped. Irish folks were hungry, their land grew crops of weeds, but when war came, Ira volunteered and he forgot the white man's greed. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore, not the whiskey drinking Indian nor the Marine that went to war. As they battled up the Ojima Hill, 250 men, only 27 lived to walk back down again. And when the fight was over and old glory raised, among the men who held it high was the Indian Ira Hayes. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian. Ira Hayes returned a hero, celebrated throughout the land. He was wine and speech and honored. Everybody shook his hand. But he was just a Pima Indian. No water, no home, no chance. And back home, nobody cared what Ira had done, and seldom did the Indians dance. Well, Ira started drinking hard. Jail was often his home. They let him raise the flag and lure it like you throw a dog a bone. He died drunk early one morning in a land that he had fought to save. Two inches of water in a lonely ditch was a grave for Ira Hayes. Call him drunken Ira Hayes, he won't answer anymore. Not the whiskey drinking Indian, nor the Marine that went to war. Yeah, call him drunken Ira Hayes. You know his land is just as dry, and his ghost is lying thirsty in the ditch where Ari died. Thanks for listening.